I mean, not really. You know, I've never set a goal out to to want to be to want to be a captain. Um, I think if you look at you know, so if you look at people, you know, like Alistair Cook was always destined to be England captain after Andrew Strauss. Joe Root was always destined to be captain after Alistair Cook. So, um, you know, I, I think you you just sort of know who's going to be the next England captain once one captain sort of coming towards the end of his career. Um, and if I'm being honest, I'm not one of those people that, you know, people would necessarily associate the next England captain. But, um, yeah, that's what everyone says. I mean, I, it's never been a goal, but, you know, um, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity of doing it. Um, but, yeah, being a, being a captain has never been a real... I've never really set massive goals, to be honest. It's just always about winning. I mean, look, I, I didn't mean that to sound as if it's not a big deal or anything right. like that. I mean, obviously, um, you know, getting the opportunity to, to captain um, England is a huge honour. And even if it's only the once, um, you know, you can still say um, that, yeah, I've, I've captained England. So it's a huge honour to, to sort of think about and something that, you know, obviously I'm really looking forward to if the opportunity presents it itself. Um, but also at the same time, I know I'm only stepping in um, to um, to take over the reins for the one game because of Joel's personal situation. Uh, situation. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know if I can really say much more on it to be honest. But it's a it's a huge thing to think about, and um, if it does present itself, then obviously I'm really looking forward to it. Look, I mean, I've been on you know I've been a senior player in the team sort of since 2016, you know, under Cookie and, and obviously been, um, you know, since Joe's been in charge. So um, being able to learn from Alistair Cook um, and being able to learn from Rooty in terms of different situations throughout the game, I think is going to, um, has rubbed off on me and will, you know, put me in good stead for when, you know, all the different situations that test match can throw at you. Um, but at the same time, you know, we've got some really, really experienced guys out on the field um, who I can use. You know, we've got Jimmy Brody, who've just got ample test matches and wickets between them. Um, and, you know, there's so many people that you can throw ideas off. And um, I would like to think that I'll be quite an open captain and wouldn't want to just that my way is the only way. Because um, necessarily, I don't think that is the best way to operate is 11 guys out on the field. So, you know, why not get, you know, 10 of the opinions on, on something that you're thinking about? Yeah, look, I mean, in terms of the game, we, we haven't set anything crystal clear yet. Um, we are having discussions. Um, and we're also having discussions um, with Jason Holder um, because I think it would be great to be able to do something as, um, you know, Team England and Team West Indies. Um, and showing our support together as two different nations. Um, but in terms of anything crystal clear, we're not, you know, we're not there yet. Um, but, you know, there are conversations going on, um, you know, as I said before, that um, Joe's having chats with Jason. And, you know, so the, the conversation is going, um, it, there will be something happening, but it's not 100% crystal clear yet. Um, but I think in a situation like this, it's great that, um, you know, two teams are wanting to work together to be able to show support towards um, Black Lives Matter.